Hi everyone, this is Downloads from the Divine. I'm here to do the Twin Flame daily reading for September 20th of 2019. Happy Friday, everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope your week um, has been going well. Um, as I mentioned in the last uh, uh, the last uh, video, the last reading that I posted is that some things have changed in terms of my schedule. And so I'm really, I've really been working due to, um, you know, everything going on with my earth job, um, really working to find that balance and, and, and being able to still do readings. I'm still doing personal readings, um, but still being able to post the readings, um, on, um, you know, here on YouTube. So, um, I want to get your, I want to get some of your feedback, um, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if you all do prefer just having a weekly reading. Um, as far as the daily readings, the daily readings aren't going to be, they, they, they may not be, um, like every single day of the week. There may be times when I'm able to do a daily reading for every day of the week. Um, but there's going to be times when I'm not able to. And so if you prefer, um, a daily reading when I'm able to, if you could please let me know in the comments below, um, or if you do prefer just to have just a weekly reading, um, also let me know. Um, I do, um, you know, I do, you know, enjoy, um, you know, being able to provide, you know, provide readings for you all and being, I, I, I would, if I could be able to provide them, you know, every single, you know, every day of the week, Monday through Friday, being able to provide a reading. Um, but I'm not like, like I explained in the last, um, the last reading that I posted, I'm not able to do that. So, okay. But I did, I did post a daily reading. I'm posting a daily reading for today. Um, and then I am going to also post a self-love corner. I don't want to, you know, not missing a week of that. Um, that's very important. Um, so I'll post the reading for today for the self-love, um, the self-love corner as well. Um, but you know, thank you for your hanging in there. You, you, those who have subscribed and you're still, you're still subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much. Um, and I, and I do appreciate the support you all check, you know, check in, um, and, um, you know, and, and thank you. Thank you for that. Um, and if you are new to the channel, welcome. Um, this is a twin flame focus channel and these readings are for the energies of both the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And these are general readings. Um, you can see the number I've posted quite a few readings on here. Um, and, um, you know, it's impossible for the messages in these readings to resonate with everyone. And, and I always pray when I prepare for these readings that these messages can resonate with as many folks as possible. Um, I do have those readings that are posted on Instagram and I'm working to get Instagram straight, um, in terms of being able to post, you know, post, you know, uh, regularly post readings over there and more, reg more regularly, um, posting readings over there on Instagram. Um, but if you are also over following me on Instagram, thank you for continuing to follow me as well. Um, with, you know, due to the, with the lack of readings and all of that, but thank you for that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm on Instagram and then I do, I am still doing personal readings. Um, I, I have, you know, folks that, you know, I, I, that's, that's, that's something that I, you know, I, I'm wanting to continue to do and to be able to do that and provide that service as well. Um, and so I am still, um, doing personal readings and all the information about the readings and all of that is in the description box below. Okay. All right. That's my spiel. That's my long spiel. Um, it is bracelet Friday. Um, this is a bracelet. This is one of, um, uh, uh, three bracelets that flow, um, who has, uh, uh, followed the channel for a while, followed, you know, readings and, and checked in. She's an awesome, also has a beautiful spirit. Um, she's, she made this for me. So thank you, Flo. And I'm wearing it today, bracelet Friday. So rock your bracelets. Um, today we're going to be using the, um, this is the Morgan Greer tarot deck right here. We're going to be clarifying with the deck. I believe I used this deck maybe like once or twice before it's a mini deck. And we're going to be um, uh, clarifying with it. It's called the Sun and Moon Tarot Deck. That's by uh, Vanessa Decourt. And so um, I'm using that deck to do some clarification. 
And uh, we ha I actually have two Oracle decks today to use. I'm using the Romance Angels Oracle deck, but then I'm also using another deck, the Indigo Angels um, deck by uh, Doreen um, Virtue and Charles Virtue. And it's, that's a, it's a really beautiful deck. And if you don't know about Indigo, uh, being an indigo and what that, you know, what all of that means. Um, there's a lot on YouTube and you can Google it. There's a, there's quite a lot of information about it, but, um, I w was, um, called to use that Oracle deck today as well. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get it going. And I am, and, uh, um, thank you guys for checking in on me about like, I'm, I, I luckily have not I've been very fortunate not to be affected by the weather, the, the bad weather that's, that's, that we've had, the hurricanes and all of that. But for those of you who are, um, and those of you who have family members and friends who are, I'm, you know, sending love and light to you all, okay? All right. We are wrapping up the summer and we're heading into fall. Okay, one more time. Okay, good. I pull one card. If more than one card comes out, I'll take it as long as it's not the entire deck. And then I always pull the cards from the bottom and the top of the deck as part of the overall energy. Okay. Ah, oh, this came out reversed in this deck. Okay. This is the hangman. This is a major kind of, um, so in my decks, I don't, I don't do any reversals and you know, I don't reverse any of the cards in my deck because I can, you know, I can, I, you know, it's my preference and then I can sense whether or not something's reversed or not. Um, and also given with the cards around it. Um, this is hangman reversed. Um, it, it, it came out reversed and you know, Actually, no, it's not reverse. Okay, good. It's not reverse because you don't want to hang out for too long. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. I was a little concerned. Um, it is, it is, it, it did come out. It didn't come out reversed. Okay. Um, I was, I was looking at it in a different way. So it is, it is upright <laughs> um, because you don't want this reverse to just hanging out too long, um, you know, really hanging out too long. Um, and uh, reverse you, is when you're taking that moment and you're taking that pause and you're looking at something by, by doing this, being able to look at something from a completely different perspective. Okay. Um, so that's, we got the hangman. Okay. Um, top of the deck. Okay. We got the two of pentacles. Pentacles are associated with the material in the, in the physical realm. So juggling and two, and this is the two of pentacles. So, you know, twos are all about decisions, making those decisions and those choices. Okay. But two of pentacles is when you are, there's a lot of, go, there's a lot of things that are also going on in the material and the physical realm. Okay. And, um, you're trying to juggle, juggle things. Okay. Um, and at the bottom of the deck, we've got, yeah. So this is taking a, this is really looking at things that are affecting. So this is the five of wands here. Okay. So five of wands is about conflict. It's about, and I feel in this case, the, the strong download that I'm getting is, is that we got a lot of interference happening with folks. Okay. A lot of things that are going on that are causing interference. Um, it could be affecting you being able to do things. We have twins that, you know, you know, whether you've just gotten, um, uh, you know, reunited or you're trying to reunite or what, you know, um, how, you know, how, how it resonates with you. Um, but, um, you've got things that are interfering that are causing different, are, are cause, causing interference. It could be folks, could be things in the, you know, your external environment that's happening. 
Um, and that's what, that's what I'm, that's what I'm, I'm feeling is some things that are happening in folks, um, external environment here with this five of wands. Why I'm feeling that, um, I've seen some five of wands where they actually show the person and the person, it looks like the same person that's like, and when I see like the same person that's like fighting, it's like different poses of the same figure that's like fighting with themselves. It's Cause the five of wands could be an internal conflict as, as well. I don't feel that with this. I feel that this is some external conflict. You see with this five of wands, you see that there's like all of these different hands, um, and they're, you know, each, they're, each one of these hands looks different. Um, and so this is like a different figure that's, you know, different hand that's holding each one of these wands. I feel like this is external folks. This is things happening. It could be work. It could be other family, uh, friends, things that are causing interference. And you're feeling like you're having to juggle and I feel like this is affecting, it's affecting folks being able to, I feel like even just being, being able to re reunite if, you know, for those who are in separation at this moment, for twins that are in separation, but also just being able to, if you're already, you know, you already have reunited, um, just being able to, um, uh, being able to, you know, proceed with that reunion and take that reunion further, you know. That's what I feel like. I feel like that's what's happening because I, this uh, five of wands is sitting right next to this two of pentacles and they're feeding into one another and it's causing someone to feel very overwhelmed. They feel like they're having to juggle a lot of stuff related to the material and the physical realm. So that could be physical health. Um, that could be work, home, career, family, you know, all those different things related to material and the physical realm. Someone is being guided to take a look at it. I feel like with this hangman here, this is the only major arcana uh, that, that's, that's here on the table. It's looking at this from a different perspective. I feel like even looking at if you are struggling to be able to find time with one another, we have twins that, are, that have been reunited and they're struggling to find time with one another. Also, for those who are, there is that separation and you're just trying to get on your feet. Um, and you're being guided to take a look and have a different and take a look at this and see things from a different perspective to see like, what's, you know, what, what's going on here with this five of wands. That's what I feel here. What is this interference and in things that are happening here? Is, is, is this, is this things that are, are these things that you can be able to, um, you know, I, the good, the good thing, what I'm saying, things that you could be able to just move, go ahead and move beyond or, you know, um, resolve. Okay. Cause this is a, this is external conflict here. So if there's things that are happening that are causing you to feel overwhelmed, can you take care of them? So you don't feel that way because you don't, you know, uh, we got the two of pentacles here where you're feeling overwhelmed. This, uh, five, uh, the number five, like I said, is about conflict and, and, you know, challenges and obstacles and things like that. But the number five is also movement. Okay. So the good news is, is that they're, you know, being able to have some movement past this, but I feel like someone is being guided to look at this from a different perspective, to be able to resolve this, whatever that they feel has been causing some interference and things with them wanting to go ahead and move forward and proceed um, being able to resolve this. Okay. And so they can go ahead and move forward. Okay. Because what's cool is, is that after the five of wands is the six of wands. Number six is harmony and balance. And number six is having victory and even having victory over this, over, you know, all of the interference. This is a lot of external interference and conflict here with this five of wands. Okay. All right, y'all. It's looking at the, the hangman when you, when you're able to do that, you look at things from a different perspective by doing that, by beginning a hangman mode and looking at your situation from a different perspective, even looking at another person's situation. So your twin situation from a different perspective, you're able to pick up things that you might've missed that and, and see, and see things more clearly. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and do some clarification. Yeah, I just saw the five of pentacles. 
Five. So we got folks where it is, and when you have that, you know, that conflict, the good news with the Five of Wands is not as serious conflict as it would be like, let's say, the Five of Swords, okay? That's that's more serious conflict. Um, now, this is something that you can be able to move past uh, more easily, okay? All right. All right, one more time. Okay, let's start with this five of wands. All those different hands holding those different wands. Those are different folks. That's not the same person. So we got interference happening, a lot of conflict, external conflict. It's outside of even with the outside of the twins. Okay. And as the spirit can please clarify the five of wands. The five of wands. Got two cards that came out. Yeah, we want that. So we got swiftness. This is the eight of wands here. Okay. Eight of Wands is, is positive movement forward. We want that. Okay, we want to be able to move past this Five of Wands, the conflict and all the interference, okay? Um, and that's coupled with the what these two came out together. That's coupled here with the Chariot, the Major Arcana of the Chariot. And the Chariot is all about movement forward, okay? This is really about being able to move forward. And... By getting in hangman mode, you're able to come up with, see things from a different perspective and come up with some solutions as well um, to be able to move forward, okay? Move forward past this conflict and interference and take care of it, okay? Um, the chariot, I've talked about the chariot before. This is a little, di well, I know this is, this is a pretty cool depiction. So it's still got... So the chariot, there's, there's either, there's so many depictions of the chariot, but there's usually a depiction of like a lighter, like for instance, a white horse and a dark horse or a black sphinx and a white sphinx. Um, and, and here we got, there's, these are look like, these are bulls actually. Yeah. <laughs> so we got the black bull and then the white bull right there. Um, and so um, that black, the, 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 that's why I talked about like the cherry, you don't, the cherry just doesn't move. You have to get yourself balanced. And that's part of that. Even why we got the two of pentacles here on the table, cause this is causing this interference here is causing some, it's causing folks to really feel off balance. Um, but being able to face the, you know, whether and here in this case, it's a black, the, the, so you've got the bull right here. Um, that's just, that's representative of your shadow self. And so it's facing those pieces of yourself um, and, and things are, that are also feeding into this interference because it's, it's, I feel like it's things that folks, they, it, they can be able to resolve. Um, and, 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 and that's what I feel like the divine is guiding folks to do is to be able to take a look at this from a different perspective to go ahead and take care of it and resolve it. So you can get yourselves balanced and be able to move forward. We've got the eight of wands here. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we've got, the seven of cups, and this is a little different, um, seven of cups here and, and the, oh, how you pronounce that word? I think it's debauch. It is debauch. It's like, it is debauch, but you can see the depiction here of the seven of cups. You have this couple that's like, you know, very, you know, with each other, very intimate and here in this water. Okay. Um, in this case, I feel like what this is showing is we got, we got folks that are really, I feel like we even got someone that's really thinking about being able to be with another person, okay? Being able, to, it's like the fantasizing about another person and wanting to be with them, wanting to be intimate with them, um, and but they're... Uh, there, I feel like there's a level of frustration and feeling overwhelmed because they have a lot of things outside external factors and things that are causing interference with doing that. Okay. So we've got the seven of cups on one side of the deck. And then the, on the other side of the deck, we got, yeah, look, the seven with this three of cups, because this is what, this is the three of cups. And this, this three of cups with the seven of cups is someone that's really wanting to reunite with somebody, get with someone. 
um, being able to have good times with another person and being able to just enjoy one another physically, emotionally, mentally being able to be with one another and have that time together. The, the issue here though, is, is that we got someone that's a lot of, and it's related and it's affecting them on the material and the physical realm. Um, all of this interference here with this five of wands. Okay. But being able to move past that, find solutions to be able to overcome and move past this interference and this conflict. Okay. All right. Angels and spirit can please clarify the two of pentacles. Yeah. So we got the eight of cups that popped up because what's happening is, is that, and here's the seven of cups again at the bottom of the deck. Seven of cups is also about choosing wisely. Okay. I feel like this eight of cups is related to this five of wands. Someone has things that are happening in the material and the physical realm with them. We have twins that what's happening is they've got things that are affecting them. That is emotionally unfulfilling. It is feeding into this five of wands and causing a lot of interference and they're needing to walk away from it. The eight of cups is when you're, you're guided to walk away from and step away from things that aren't serving you. They're not emotionally fulfilling. Okay. So this is, this is, these are things that people have put a lot of emotional energy into, but they're not serving them. And like I say, I feel like this is things that are like ex even external 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 to twins i feel like this is five the five of wands is it's external interference that's happening so this could be different this eight of cups of what you're being guided to do to stop being feeling so overwhelmed it could be related to and specifically with the material and the physical realm things in your life that you're not fulfilled with and and, and taking those steps and those changes whether it is a job whether it is um different relationships and things that you have um, being able to look at that, you know, whether it is behaviors, whether it is a certain place, looking at those things that are, that have caused, you know, that are making you feel emotionally unfulfilled and, and, and you being able to step away from that. There is someone that is talking out, not outside. And so I'm, my little dog is in here. So if she starts barking. That's why. Okay. Um, at the bottom of the deck, like I said, we have, but she's being very, very quiet and I'm very surprised that she's not barking. So that's, that's pretty cool. She's, she's just chilling in her bed. Um, but we've got the seven of cups here a, again at the bottom. Like it's someone that's really fantasizing, like they're wanting to be able to have, be with someone and be in, and be intimate with someone and have good times with someone. Okay. And so we got the seven of cups on one side of the deck. And then on the other side of the deck, we got justice. Yeah. Justice does step in. I feel like it's someone that's also realizing that there's a lot of things that have caused interference that they're needing to step away from, um, that has caused interference with them even being able to have this. Okay. Being able to have like, re, you know, have reunion or like I said, even twins that aren't, are, are that are in reunion already have a union that is, is proceeding. Um, you know, it's, it's the starting out of that, but it, uh, someone that is like, even things are interfering with even being able to spend more time with another person. There's a lot of interference. Okay. And being able to step away from those things. Okay. Yeah. I just saw, yeah, I just saw the, um, the four of cups and the, the, that's cause that's things that are just, you're not happy with, you're discontent with that you're being guided to step away from. Okay. Angels and spirit, could please clarify the hangman. Two cards. Yeah. The six of wands here and the hermit. That's very powerful. The hermit clarifying this and coupled here with the hangman. Hermit is when you do go into hermit mode, you shine the light within, you have that self-reflection. Um, and that coupled with the hanging with the hangman, uh, you know, and taking that pause and seeing things from a different perspective, you're really being able to get a lot of clarity here. This hermit is here with the six of wands. That's cool that this came out clarifying the hangman. 
because this is showing that you're being able to have, like I was talking about, the good thing, the good news with this five of wands is being able to move past and move into the six of wands and being able to have victory over all of this conflict and this interference. At the bottom of the deck, we have the seven of pentacles. Um, because it is feeling like we got, and, and, and this card has got the title of failure at the top of it. Um, it's, it's, it's a feeling of with the seven of pentacles, like you've been waiting for like a return in your investment. There's a feeling that we've got folks that have been, that have put in energy and effort in the past that have been waiting on return of, of, on, on the return of their investment. Okay. And like I said, I'm feeling like really strongly whatever that's happening externally, it does, it's affecting twins. And of course it's going to affect the connection with between twins. Okay. So like I said, twins, they're either in separation or are in separation. It is, it puts a, uh, it, it creates an obstacle in terms of being able to be with one another. Okay. Um, but I, I, also, I feel really strongly that we got folks like, you know, the seven of pentacles is even re is related to things that are external that you put in like a lot of energy and effort. You've, you've been waiting for returning your investment in certain things and you're not, you haven't seen it. And it's created, you know, where a situation where you're like juggling and, you know, you're trying to, you know, trying to figure out what to do and feeling overwhelmed. So we got the seven of pentacles on one side of the deck and then on the other side of the deck, we've got the magician. Okay. This is really cool to have with the seven of pentacles. This is showing that all the time and the energy that you put into things, all these things, I feel like these are external interference, this external interference and conflict, different factors that you put in, um, all the energy and effort you put in, whether it is your job, whether it is other relationships and things, it's just let you know that that's not that that effort is not lost but what you're guided to do is it's like this coupled with the magician is to be able to manifest the seven of pentacles is a very um it's a passive type of it's a passive uh card um where you're waiting you're waiting on a return of your investment but you're not doing anything okay um and so this seven of pentacles here with this magician this is saying, hey, it's moving forward past the seven of pentacles, even moving into the eight of pentacles, shifting where you are putting in that energy and that effort and manifesting. OK, and the magician is number one in the in the uh, major arcana. It's the very beginning of a cycle and being able to manifest what you want that is emotional, emotionally fulfilling all these different things that you've been involved with being able to being able to detach from that. And being able to take the steps necessary to manifest the things that you want in your life. Okay. Um, and I feel strongly got even like twins that are, you know, um, and specifically with that seven of cups popping out like that, really fantasizing about even just even being with one another, but there's just a lot of things that are happening, a lot of interference. Okay. And being able to overcome that, but you can't overcome that with the seven of pentacles, just in that passive type of energy you actually taking action, being a magician and manifesting. Okay. Taking those steps necessary to manifest what you want in your life. All right. Okay. We're going to go ahead and we'll first pull, um, romance angel oracle cards. And then we'll pull the indigo angel cards. Angels and spirit, what guidance the insight do you have for the Twin Flame Collective for today for September 20th of 2019? Yeah. There is, um, there's, we've got the codependency here. Addictions are affecting your love life. This is all related to this five of wands. Things that you're stuck to, you feel tied to. This codependency is even similar to like the devil. Things that you're feeling stuck to and tied to, knowing that you can step away from those things. You can take steps, be the magician, take those steps and, and, and step away from those things that are, they, that, that's why the Eight of Cups is clarifying this Two of Wands because as you're feeling overwhelmed and in, in balance, 
because you're being guided to step away from these things that aren't serving you. They're not bringing you emotional fulfillment. Okay. You're not tied to We want to reverse this codependency and where you're feeling codependent and tied to different things in your life and that aren't fulfilling. Okay. Cause at the bottom of the deck, as a result, we got where we got like unrequited love because it is, I feel in this sense, it's, it's because what's happening is, is that it's creating an imbalance when you're involved with situations. And like I, like I said, I feel like these are situations external to twins that they are involved with. Okay. Um, and there are, there's Im imbalances where there's not equal give and take that are happening in these situations. And as a result, it affects the connection between twins. Okay. External things also affect the connect. They, they affect the connection, um, be between twins. Like, cause like I said, when things are happening in, in every part of every part of ourselves, our mind, body, and spirit are all connected. And then when one part of it is imbalanced, it's going to affect everything else. And that's what's happening. And that's why we got this because it is whoever that is putting in energy and effort still into things that are emotionally unfulfilling. They're, they're not loving themselves. And there is, there is an imbalance here. Okay. So we got unrequited love, but then on the other side of the deck, we've got separation. And, and, and that is creating this interference here with this five of wands is creating separation between twins. Okay. Um, because it's, it's, it's creating a block and being able to step away from those things. Okay. That aren't fulfilling. I'm pull an indigo angel card and then we'll wrap it up. And spirit will guide us there flew out with a force. It's time to create. So being able to step away from things are, that aren't serving you and being able to. So if there's things that you're thinking about doing that are emotionally fulfilling in your life, it's taking those steps to do that. Okay. Um, and being, being able to be creative, that, that's also a great outlet as well, um, as well for, you know, as, as stress and things like that, but being able to give your, you know, being able to feed your energy also into things, into the, into things. And, but just in general, I feel like this is even related to time to create is related to this hangman because you being able to really see things from a different perspective, you you're being able to be more creative and find some solutions to be able to step away from these, this overcome this interference. Okay. So time to create at the bottom of the deck, we do have release and relax because when you're in this state with this two of pentacles and feeling overwhelmed, like you're juggling and you're being guided to, and what's happening is being able to emotionally walk away from those. What is cool is, is that by twins doing that and stepping away from these things that are causing all of this interference and conflict, they're walking from the eight of cups into the nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment. Okay. Um, but relax and, and uh, release and relax. And then on the other side of the deck is health because yeah, all of these things I talk, I just, I just said that about how, uh, when you're stressed out in one part of your life, it's going to cause all these st stress and imbalances and it's going to affect all the other parts of your life. It will affect your health, your physical health, emotional health, mental health, and spiritual health. Okay. And, and being able to love yourself first by being able to step away from these things that aren't serving you and that are bringing emotionally, un emotional unfulfillment. Okay. All right, y'all, that is your reading. I am wishing you all a beautiful um, weekend and please take care. I will post a self-love corner for today, um, but I am hoping to be able to post um, readings also um, next week. OK, so please let me know. Give me your feedback about the readings. And I thank you guys that, you know, still are hanging in there. Um, and I'm sending you all lots of love and light. Please take care. Bye.